What's up everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. And I've been thinking it's pretty calm out in these Nintendo streets. The fans are thirsty. Everyone is clamoring. We need something. And the one something that everyone is looking for is a Nintendo Direct. What games are coming out in 2020? What is Nintendo offering this year? Is there going to be release dates for big games like Bayonetta 3, Shin Megami Tensei 5, No More Heroes 3? We're we gonna get an actual date for that. We need a date, right? That game's looking really cool. It's looking really weird, but looking really cool. There are so many questions out there, but guys, trust me when I say this, it's been this since pretty much the Nintendo Switch has launched. This is the calm before the Nintendo Switch Storm of 2020. I have on good authority, trust me on this one guys, good authority, that not only will 2020 be one of the best years for the Nintendo Switch, there are gonna be some pretty nice announcements. There are gonna be some pretty cool games coming out, going into, or more like completing, the Nintendo Switch's third year on the market, calendar year at least, and going into the fourth year there are going to be a lot of surprises for the Nintendo Switch at 52 million units sold. That is a lot of systems out there, and that means a lot of systems equals a lot of games. Not just from Nintendo, but also from third parties as well. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Don't expect to see all these huge AAA PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games being announced for the Nintendo Switch this year year or even next year be it that but what you are going to get is a lot of quality first party games and you're going to get a lot of independent games i think we're going to see a lot of indie stuff that's going to really surprise some people out there with what they're doing and of course those third party japanese mid-tier games and up something like a xenoverse for example or even a ease 8 la cromosa of donna valkyria chronicles trials of mana games like that are going to be coming out and are going to surprise a lot of people out there so i kind of see this not as a dead period but the calm before the storm we've got the staples you guys all know and love xenoblade chronicles definitive edition that's looking like it's going to be maybe a may release maybe a may release and then you also have animal crossing new horizons that game is coming out this march and after that there's not really much in terms of dates and you know what xenoblade doesn't even have a date it's just 2020 we've got tokyo mirage sessions that came out we have some stuff like ninjala that was pushed back there are a lot of solid games that we do know for 2020 but it does seem a bit light according to quite a number of people out there so that needs to be fixed and the nintendo direct that we get at some point maybe one's even been announced by the time that you guys are watching this video depending on when you're watching it everyone's looking out for that february direct Will that February Direct come? Should we talk about that? Should that be something that I discuss in this video? Maybe, maybe not. But we need to finish with this calm before the storm because I still feel that Nintendo is set for a huge year this year. So let's go ahead and get into some game specifics here, guys. Bayonetta 3. I think that's something that a lot of people have been asking. What the heck is going on with Bayonetta 3? What is going on with this game? Where has it been? It was announced in 2017. Well, the announcement was early just so they can promote Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch. It's not like they were already actively halfway through development with Bayonetta 3 and said, all right, you know what, let's go ahead and announce it. It was announced because yes, they were already starting to plan it out and what they were gonna do, but it wasn't full scale in development where they had like a bunch of stuff done. They were really just trying to get the hype going for Bayonetta 1 and 2 in order to drive the sales of that game because while they were okay on the Wii U, they definitely could have been better considering the quality of Bayonetta 1 and 2 in terms of action games. Definitely should have sold better. And I think with the Nintendo Switch release, they did do a good job drumming up hype and getting people to play that game. So there's that one. Then we also have Shin Megami Tensei 5, which is another game that was announced in 2017, but a lot earlier. That was at the Nintendo presentation and this game has not gone completely MIA. We did get one more trailer, I think in like 2018 or it was 2017, one of those two. We did get another trailer where they officially announced it for the West because apparently it wasn't already officially announced at Nintendo's presentation in January because that was in Japan. So there was an official announcement, but then you realize who makes that game and it's all, oh, it's Atlas. So yes, of course, they have their separated, segmented West 
and East and stuff like that, which nobody likes at this point. But by the way, they're still doing with Persona 5 and other Atlas games. So yeah, you have that. So Shin Megami Tensei 5, where is that game? I think that game definitely gonna be at a Nintendo Direct this year. Definitely gonna be at a Nintendo Direct this year. And people have to realize before you get all uptight about games and what's gonna be coming and what's not gonna be coming, Nintendo has multiple Nintendo Directs a year. It's not the be-all, end-all for every single Nintendo Direct. They usually have it in this order, guys. Allow me to let you know. So, they have it early Direct. That's usually between January and March. That's usually when we get one of those Directs. I am banking on February. Banking on February, but we'll have to wait and see, right? Then they have a Summer Direct, and they might have an Indie Direct in between or something like that, or an Indie Presentation in between that. But then they have the Summer E3 Direct, and that one's always big. Obviously, Breath of the Wild 2, that was announced there. And then they have a Fall Direct, and those ones are usually stacked. There's always a lot of good stuff at those Fall Directs. I don't remember a Fall Direct since the Nintendo Switch was launched. That was bad. And honestly, the Fall Directs are usually the best ones. I mean, there was some discussion between last year's Fall Direct and the E3 and which one was better between those two. But to me, the Fall Directs are always among some of the best. They end the year on a bang. They give you a lot of games that aren't coming out like in like three or four years, but games that are coming out that year that you can pick up like in November and then also in the following year. So it's actually pretty cool. I do love the Fall Direct. So we get information in between all of that too, right? It's not just directs. Nintendo has these things where some people have dubbed as Twitter directs, where they'll announce information on games. They'll announce sometimes new games. They'll put out some DLC or whatever the case is. They just announce it on there. People say, oh wow, this wasn't in a direct. Well, you don't need to do a direct for everything. And I think that we're gonna see a number of that as well this year. I think with 2020 games, Nintendo knows that they have to have quite a bit. This is the third year wrapping up, going into the fourth year of the Nintendo Switch on the market. And Shuntaro Furukawa has stated multiple times, and Nintendo has stated they want this one to last longer. They want the Nintendo Switch to be a system that has a longer lifespan than normal. Definitely longer than the Wii U, that's for sure. And if you saw what they did with the Nintendo 3DS, which they still haven't officially cut off support for that system, although there's pretty much no game. So they have, but it's still in manufacturing. So with the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo's trying to make sure that the system is supported for quite some time. I think the Nintendo Switch Lite is going to help on the front and back end when it comes to sales. People are picking that up because it is a cheap switch that you can give to a child or just have as a second one so you can take on the go. It's easier to carry. That's been doing extremely well on the market. And of course, you might want to expand in the future with a more powerful Nintendo Switch or maybe just wait for the Switch 2. But in general, the Nintendo Switch, as long as Nintendo can continue to put out at least four to five massive games like a Pokemon, Xenoblade, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Brothers, Mario Odyssey, those type of games, they usually have a good number of those types every single year. They'll have a big one in the beginning of the year or middle or so, and they'll have a bunch at the end as well when it comes to third party and also first party. So Nintendo has got a good rhythm. They've got a good flow with the Nintendo Switch. And I think that with these directs that are gonna be coming this year, there's gonna be a lot of surprise announcements and a lot of good stuff for people out there. So this is really just the calm before the storm. You think that all they've got is this? No, there's a lot more. We just gotta be a bit patient, guys. I know it's kinda tough getting out there. Some of you guys been playing a lot of games. You wanna know what's coming next. But to be honest, pretty much everyone's a bit tight-lipped when it comes to stuff, right? It's not like Sony's out there talking about a bunch of stuff with PlayStation 5. Xbox has talked about things here and there, but there isn't a ton of game announcements either. And Nintendo has directs that they've always leaned on. Even at this point that I'm recording this video, the first direct for last year hadn't happened yet. It was February 13th. So do we see a repeat of that? Well, we'll have to wait and see what Nintendo announces. Maybe we'll get something here soon, but I do fully expect there to be very big and major game announcements. I'm going to do a predictions video, and for this year, Mario Kart 9 definitely seems like it could be a possibility. I did a video on it as well, so you guys can check that out when it comes to some of the rumors that are going around, but I think that this year is going to be a huge year. While it's been a bit calm right now at this point, man, we still have some cool games announced, like Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, Animal Crossing, 
No More Heroes 3, and there's going to be a lot more where that came from. So I'm excited to see what Nintendo has up their sleeves for 2020. So what do you guys think about this calm before the storm? And when do you guys think Nintendo's going to be announcing the threat? Is it already announced? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Check out the link in the description below. Give us a follow on Twitter. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Player Essence. And share this video if you can. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.